Hey, what's up everybody? Let me show you just how easy it is to use the all new split field filter instead of on one photo raw to create interest in your backgrounds and your foregrounds. Let's dive in and take a look. So with landscapes, especially if we're photographing with a wider angle lens, sometimes that background interest is a little bit too small and we wanna make it larger. So what we can do is we can go into the effects tab, we'll add a filter and we'll add the all new split field filter. With the split field filter, we can use it to magnify various regions of our photograph to create interest in the background and in the foreground. So one thing I like to do in the split field filter here is I'll go down to this position section and I'll choose this adjust divider parameters option. That way I can hover over the image here and I can fine tune which area I want to magnify. So I wanna magnify this background section to give this area just a little bit more oomph and pop within the frame. Now I'm gonna go into the appearance section. I'm gonna pull up on the scale quite a bit to really make that area stand out within the photo. Now I can also use this position section to adjust where that magnified, re magnified region lives within the scene. I think right there is just about perfect. And if you have some foreground and background areas that aren't blending together, just go down into this position section again and use this transition slider to blend those in a bit better. So now we have a much more interesting background and it feels as if that background is a lot closer to the camera than it originally was. But that's not all you can do with the split field filter. You can also use it to create interesting foregrounds as well. So let's take this photograph for example. Let's say we want it to feel as if the bison within the photograph is a lot closer to the frame. Well, without actually cropping in on the photograph, we can just go into the effects tab. We'll add that split field filter. And now I like to use this style section. I'll choose close up, and it's actually going to magnify our foreground now. Now, same thing we did earlier. I'm gonna go into this adjust divider parameters section there and I'll fine tune where the magnification is happening. I can rotate even. I'll even position it a little more close to the center area of the photo. And we'll scale it up a bit more. And maybe I can position a little bit closer after that as well. But now, if I turn this off and on, I've actually created that sense that we're a lot closer to the bison than we actually were, while also preserving this really nice sky background within the scene. So not only can you create interesting backgrounds with the split field filter, you can also create interesting foregrounds as well. So that's how easy it is to use the split field filter within your landscapes or even nature and wildlife photographs. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this lesson, subscribe to our channel or check out our video library for more On One tips and tricks. And don't forget, if you're an On One Plus member, you'll get full step-by-step -step lessons, downloadable practice files, courses, and exclusive monthly challenges to help you master techniques just like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.